Yo, what, what up? It's Razor Pabla. They started out as Korean pop listeners, and they've since embraced Korean dramas as well. Not surprisingly, many of them are drawn to the dramas because of their beautifully written theme songs. Mellow drama kind. Okay. Mm. So you love the mellow, dramatic kind of soundtracks. Yeah, it it really fits um really well to those um really sad scenes like Temptation of Wife. Um, the theme song would be uh I can't forgive. And that really brings out the emotion of um that hatred that she has for her husband. So cute. He's very handsome. And of course, K dramas would not have garnered such a strong fan base if the beautiful soundtracks are not accompanied by beautiful people and scenery. Firstly, it'll be the actors and the actresses because they have very um, striking good looks. Yeah, that is like very important. <laughs> and then we have um, the beautiful scenery when they are um, shooting during winter time. Um, the scenery is really beautiful. Even for maybe a normal drama, they may go really far to make the set really realistic and very pretty. Everything. Mm. And that plays a very important part, right? Because if you have the setting, then you you tend to get into the situation more. You tend to believe and feel for the character. From fans, Korean dramas are also a gateway to the exotic yet comfortingly familiar Korean culture. The first one that I watched was Gung, which is Princess Hours, and I think that because it's set in um. In the setting of a Korean monarchy, I think it's very interesting because, especially in Singapore, we don't have a royal family per se, and uh, yeah, I think it's just really interesting to see how you know um, a monarchy could work. And strangely, Korean drama knows no cultural boundary in Singapore. It has reached an unprecedented level of popularity among Singaporean teens of all races. I feel that the Korean uh, dramas they develop the character very well. They research their blood type and everything. How this certain blood type acts. Uh. <laughs> He played the rich, stubborn, and hot-tempered Tao Mingsi in Taiwanese idol drama Meteor Garden. He played the same role in the Korean version Boys Over Flowers. Both actors also shot to superstardom after the drama series took Asia by storm. But who's better looking in the eyes of our young drama fans? You mean who? <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> he's younger. <laughs> yeah, he's. He's really cute. <laughs> Are Korean actors better looking than their other Asian counterparts? That remains debatable. But a Korean man more romantic? Most of these teenage drama fans couldn't agree more. Koreans, Koreans more romantic. It's mm. More romantic in what ways? The way that they propose to the girl, the things that they do for the girls is quite different from how Chinese will do for their girlfriends. Like fly their girlfriends uh, to an <laughs> island. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. Uh, they have a lot of, like, um, they have white day, they have black day. They celebrate a lot of occasions, yeah. I kind of like the the violinist guy. Uh, his name is Kim Hyung Jun in the real name, uh. yeah. Cause in a way, cause he's like really rich and he's super gentlemanly, and it's very hard to find this kind of guys right now in Singapore to begin with who really take care of you and everything. Born rich, look good, and hopelessly romantic. That's the typical Korean male lead that will sweep every girl off her feet. But the same stringent criteria are rarely applied to female leads. Sometimes it helps that their characters are flawed in certain ways. A lot of the, the lead actresses that are chosen to play um, lead roles in um, Korean dramas are actually not exceptionally good looking like maybe I should say plastic good looking. I think that a lot of those um, lead actresses that are chosen actually have a very authentic Korean look to them. I think it helps that um, they strategically pick such, you know, slightly more real looking people to play such lead roles. Right, good casting strategy. But wait a minute, isn't the same formula used in Taiwanese idol dramas as well? Next up, why are they no longer as big as they used to be? Yo, what, what, what up? It's Razor Pop 
She married the man who raped and impregnated her and almost killed her so that he could move on with his mistress. So she got herself a new name and a makeover before she returned to plot revenge against her ex-husband. And how would she like her ex-husband to pay back? By falling for her all over again. Sounds absurd? Maybe, but many are still following the 129 episode Korean drama religiously. Never mind if the storyline is an insult to their intelligence. And no one questions why two rich hunks always fight for the same poor, clumsy, and average looking girl. Sometimes when I watch them, I think, oh, if I'm in that situation, what would I do? Like, oh, that's so sweet, you're so romantic. Yeah. They fit our ideal ideals very well. Yeah, and you can't find this in the real world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the fit females fantasy. Yeah. Especially those who don't have boyfriends, right? They will go and watch these kind of dramas to satisfy their to yeah, the the desire for love and everything. Yeah. So long as these dramas are entertaining, who cares if they do not make sense? It really matter to me that um, some stories can be um, less believable than it should be. But you know, as long as it's enjoyable and it you know it puts you through that sort of emotional therapy that you need to, you know, stay sane. Yeah, I think that's fine. Now, if you're ready for some light-hearted entertainment, check out the next clip for some top recommendations from our drama enthusiast. If you are a greenhorn in the Asian drama scene and can only spare enough time for the best of these dramas, where shall you begin? Princess Hours. Um, Coffee Prince and uh, my lovely Kim Samsun. My name is Kim Samsun. These titles will certainly satisfy those who crave romantic comedies. But if you're looking for something different, Carmen has a good suggestion. It's a uh, one that is quite underrated. It's called God of Study. It's more of friendship rather than love and they work together to actually try to study and go into a very top university in Korea.